I'm on my way to Donghui University, which is a very large university here in Busan. And I'm going here to check out the judo team or their judo program, work out with them. Good friend of mine from here in Busan who is associated with the school that I'm practicing at while here. Uh, lives in Daegu, I believe, and works for uh, uh, some military outfit or whatnot. But anyway, he hooked me up with, uh, with this team out here. They're going to give me the opportunity to work out with the, some of these players. I'm assuming since they actually have a judo program that there's probably going to be some great talent. If I have to walk up any more stairs, I'm probably not going to last long in this uh, workout. Dongwei University? I'm tired already. This is a shuttle bus that takes us to Dongwei University. It's a long trip just to get our butts kicked. This is obviously the place. Here it is. Uh, Donghui Sports Center. Okay, so this is pretty cool. This is uh, uh, both high school, there's a high school, sports high school uh, that's uh, prepping students to, to for their major in phys ed and they train here several times a week, four or five times a week. And also the college students here that are in the phys ed program uh, train here. So they train together. I'm a little bit early. But uh, tons of cauliflower ear on these high school kids. High school kids with gnarled up fingers and massive cauliflower ear. So probably a very serious, serious program here. So I should be nice to these young guys, but it's pretty, it's interesting. I'm going to take a walk around the facility and see what they got. I showed up a little bit early. But here's the facility. It's basically a gymnasium. Here's my friend that's helping me to translate. Hi. What's your name? Juni. Juni? Yeah. She's been very helpful. And she studied in Canada, so she speaks very good English. This is a pretty big, pretty big workout room, pretty big mat area, <clears throat> which is very cool. But I'm definitely early, so I'm going to walk around a little bit and check out the facility. These students are actually uh, like f studying phys ed or a degree like that, and so they're involved in the judo team here as well. It's part of the curriculum, which is pretty cool. We don't have that back home. So that's one of the great and interesting things about Korea. Um, martial arts is so... Uh, integral and woven into the into society here that it's uh, it's part of the curriculum in many of the colleges here if you're if you're studying to be a, a phys ed teacher or something any most phys ed teachers know how to do judo or taekwondo or, or things like that but there are many schools that uh, that have programs where you can get bachelor's degrees in taekwondo or judo, so that shows you how serious they are about it. It's like a phys ed degree um, focused on the sport, and uh, that's that's what it is here at this at this facility where these high school kids come to prepare um, for a degree and also just for high level training if they want to. And in the same building, we have the Department of Taekwondo. Yeah, so I'm just going to take a peek in here. So here's their Taekwondo facility, their training room. Everyone's looking at me funny. Now they're looking away when they see the camera, just like my middle school girls. Hello. Hello. So this is the Department of, <laughs> who am I? Department of Taekwondo. 
Okay, this is their weight training facility. It's pretty, uh, pretty extensive. There's every machine in here that you could need. You got the power rack, all the benches, bikes, treadmills, free weights, things like that. Uh, power racks over there, actually. This is the weight training facility. It was a time, or uh, the Korean term is kuchigi, which is groundwork. These are high school and college kids, and uh, we got some real salty dogs in here. These, some of these guys are real serious and strong for sure, uh, which is really cool. Judo development program for physical education degree. It's really cool. Okay, Rondori, stand up. Free practice. These are uh, very good players here. I want to come over here. This gentleman right here on the left, facing us now. is very, very strong, and he is 52 years old. He works for the Korean police. And he's going to show these, uh, these little young guys, like lesson or two at old school judo. Uh, we just did, uh, we just did Newaza Kuchigi for, uh, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm tired. And it's just free, wide open practice for uh, Kuchigi. So just open that. We did about, there had, there had to have been about six or eight five minute rounds. And uh, after that, you're warmed up. You're tired. Some, uh, big guys here. It's hard to tell here, but the guy walking away from me is about my size. A little heavier. And the guy, these, are, these are all big guys right here. It's just hard to tell. But they're bigger than me. Catch another refill in here. It's kind of like fishing. You never know when a body's going to go flying. There it is. Old Pops bringing the pain to these younger guys. They don't know what hit them. All these kids are definitely, uh, <clears throat> definitely players. They're definitely uh, not sitting down. They're grip fighting. Uh, a lot of good looking technique in here. So 
some probably future great fighters in here for Korea. <laughs> Someone's gonna go for a ride over here. I think. There he goes. Well, I just got done. This is uh, this is more of a training facility than like a place where you would come to learn judo. I mean, these are all, <clears throat> for the most part, higher to very high level players. Um, so there was no instruction or anything like that. It was straight free practice. We came in, warmed up. Class is about an hour and a half, or the whole training time. You warm up for about 20 minutes or so, doing some uchikomi and rolling and stuff like that, break falls, and then you get right into it. About a half an hour straight of newaza or kuchigi, rolling, or whatever your background is, the groundwork, and then straight into a half an hour or so of stand-up. <clears throat> I did pretty well on the ground. Uh, stand up, I went against one, a very, very, very strong high school kid. I think he's one of the best players that they have here, but he's only a high school student. He's pretty tall. And, uh, oof. I've been out a little bit, and I'm, I'm not really training hard in judo. My body's sore. I think I really hurt my knee. <laughs> um, he caught me with Ochigari and Kochigari, but I caught him with Sasai, Surikomiyashi, and uh, uh, Okuriyashi Barai. Um, so it was pretty even. Uh, I think they were surprised that this old man caught him twice. I think he was surprised that this old man caught him twice. So uh, as long as you keep training, you'll always be relevant. You don't have to train hard every single time, but you got to stay in there. <clears throat> but uh, this is a really a great place, really a definite training facility. Um, free practice the whole time. So I'll probably be back if I get into shape again. Uh, this is a great workout. Uh, I would have hated, I, I wouldn't have wanted to go in against the college kids. <clears throat> Uh, there's a world of difference in those two to four years in just natural strength. Uh, when you're in college, you're starting to really become more of a man. I mean, when you're in high school, you're still kind of like a boy strength. Um, and some of those college kids are big. I mean, big. I'm 6'3", 200 pounds, and I just could sense the size. And, you know, they have explosive strength, plus they're young, which is always an advantage. But nonetheless, this has been a fantastic uh, opportunity. Some of the Definitely some of the better players in Busan are here. Uh, maybe see some of these guys on the bigger stages in the future. So here it is. Dong Ui University Judo Program in Busan, South Korea. And these guys here just can't get enough. But I can, so I'll see you next time.